is Bob France. Professionally, I am known as Bob Fresh. I'm here for many reasons. I am the jack of all trades, master of none. I have a uh, podcast network called Bob's Boneyard. It is hosted by myself, Alfredo Torres, and uh, Manny Fresh, who couldn't make it because uh, he just couldn't. He's not allowed out of the state of Virginia because he's a registered sex offender. I kid, I kid. Good guy. But we do a show. It's a lot of fun. Uh, I was on the radio for 10 years in Norfolk, Virginia. I got fired. I said, you know what? I'm not going to stop doing what I love doing just because I'm no longer allowed in the building that I work at. So we decided to take our show to the internet, which is kind of cool. My name's Alfredo Torres, and I'm with um, Boneyard Industries. It's a uh, uh, podcast company. We have four podcasts, and today we're representing two of them. One which I do, which is Torres vs. Zombies, all about the um, zombie apocalypse, which is going to happen. Make, make no mistake about that. He's going to walk you through step-by-step step surviving the upcoming zombie apocalypse. Dork Trek is simple and fun and easy. We watch and review each episode of Star Trek The Next Generation in order while wearing uniforms in my living room. It's awesome. It's a great show. It's comical. It's funny. It's a good time. Which is kind of cool because... Now that Netflix is offering Star Trek The Next Generation on Instant View, you can follow right along with it. So that makes it great. Uh, we've been doing a podcast about mid-April. We started doing the specialty podcast um, July 1st. And uh, they've been running really, really good. They're running hot on iTunes. Um, either one of them is always in the, uh, um, in the top... 200 comedy broadcasts. They're in uh, podcasts. They're in the uh, uh, new and new and noteworthy. Every week when we put out a new episode, one or the other or both are are, are listed as one of the top podcasts. And I'm also here promoting my comic book called 41. 41 is a comic that I wrote. Uh, there's three issues out now, so I'm just trying to promote that and get people to read that. So that's why I'm here and at the lovely and fantastic Baltimore Comic Con. As, as you see around, this is this is the place where um, it's a celebration of more than just comic books. It's a celebration of, of, of of that type of culture, the geek culture, if that's what you want to call it, you know, the nerd culture. It's, it's all the stuff that, that, that people get into but that nobody wants to admit, <laughs> you know. They, they, people love comic books, they love horror movies, they, they love Star Trek, but they're scared to admit it because out in the, in the real world, people see that and it's kind of like, uh, oh, you, don't you, once you get a life. Here, this is the life. Everybody here, it's about the culture. It's about comics and, and, and Star Trek and Star Wars and zombies and Godzilla and all those other kind of things that everybody loves, but everybody hates to admit that they love it. Well, here you can do it. This is my first as an exhibitor. I, uh, I've come as a guest just as like a, as a shopper and I've always loved Baltimore. This is my fourth year. I missed last year because the, it was the birth of my lovely daughter. So, but I've been here every year since and I just, it's a great show. I have a really great time here. The people are fantastic and I will be coming back as an exhibitor because I mean, it's the, the, the reception you get from people is just amazing. So it's, it's a brilliant show. He's the one who thought this would be a great idea and I, I got to agree with him. Um, the We've received nothing but love from the people here, and it's perfect for us, and hopefully we're perfect for them. Artist um, Ali is amazing. I, I don't recall when I went back to my Comic-Con in the 80s having an artist Ali like that. Um, and this was back in the days of, of Neil Adams and, and, and Bob Layton and those kind of guys. Um, but now with, with, with the boom of the indie comic book and all the smaller labels, you've got more artists who have come up and, and can now get noticed. And now you have them displayed, which you didn't back then. And that's, it's amazing to be able to meet so many artists. I'm telling you, if you're an independent comic book creator and you want to make money selling your books, you find wherever Stanley's going to be and you go because this place is nuts and it's all because of Stan the man he's sold more books for me than he could possibly ever imagine I love you Stan Lee I mean it's it's I mean the guy single-handedly created the well not single-handedly he had help from Kirby and from Ditko and the rest but I mean he is the architect of the Marvel Universe the guy's a genius so thank you Stan wherever you are in your black little curtain over there thank you check us out online primalpapercomics.com for the comic books and again search us on iTunes Bob's Boneyard. It's a fun time. It's a good show. I think you'll like it. You also have Dork Trek, DorkTrek.com, and Torres vs. Zombies.com. We are slowly but surely taking over the world.